Hello and welcome to another episode of Around the House. I'm your host Steve O'Brien and we have shows around the house, uh, repairs, outside, inside, you name it, we do it. Today's show, it's a beautiful day out today, we've decided to take it out in the, in the yard today and what we're going to do today is we're going to show you if you have an irrigation system in your lawn and you've had it in for a long period of time, five, ten years even, uh, chances are the, the hedges, the bushes, uh, things like you see behind me here have grown over the sprinkler heads since you put them in. So rather than call up an irrigation company and have them come out and do this, it'd be a nice little weekend project. It's, the hardest part is digging the trench, digging the hole. Be very careful when you're digging the hole around the sprinkler head because there's lines underground and you don't want to cut through the line. So you just take your time. You go down maybe eight inches or so and you just feel around, you'll feel the lines. So uh, we're going to show you how we clean this out and cut back. We're going to cut back this hedge a little bit so we can get at the line. And then uh, we're going to show you how we cut the lines and we're going to reattach a, a shorter piece of uh, hose and bring the sprinkler head right out to the very edge of the lawn where it should be, not underneath the bush. So I'm going to do that now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back a little bit of this. It will grow back, so don't worry about cutting too much off. It'll grow back. Just cut enough so that you have access to the piping. There we go. That's about what I want to do right there. Okay. Now, clean out that little mess we made. We'll throw this behind us. Now you can see the head, which I already dug around it. And there's a line right here, the main trunk line, which feeds the head. Now I'm going to take a small garden shovel, which is handy, and to dig the larger hole, obviously we'd use a bigger shovel. So now, I'm going to excavate a little extra dirt we have around here so we can see what we're doing. And there's the small line you can see. You got a good view of that line now, and you see pretty much how that's all connected in there. I'm going to take the big shovel because we do have a lot of dirt in here and it's going to make it go a lot quicker. It gets a lot of that extra dirt out. Make sure you save the dirt so you can put it all back where you got it. I'm going to chop a little further out too because that's where the head's going to be going further out. So you want to cut it out enough that you can Move the head out. Right there looks like a good spot, right on the edge of the lawn. Good soft dirt, this makes it a lot easier to dig. You're not gonna encounter that in a lot of cases, but we got lucky here. All right, now we're gonna clean around. This is the end of the line by the looks of it. Okay, we're in, we're in real good shape here now. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here, now you have a good view of how that works. You see the main, the main trunk line, and this is the very last sprinkler head on this zone. Now, in our next shot, I'm going to take that apart, and we're going to show you how we move the sprinkler head out about a foot. So stay with us. Next shot, we're going to show you that. Okay, we've cleaned the excavation area very clean and we've got good area to work on the piping. Now in, the, in this segment, I'm gonna show you how we remove the old sprinkler and we're gonna move it out 12 inches right up to where my foot is here. First thing I wanna show you is whenever you pull a line, the plastic tubing off, this is what the, the pros have a torch, they just push a button and it starts up. I don't do it all the time, but any kind of a torch will work. Now what you do, and you don't leave it on too long, just enough to soften this tubing. This is the plastic tubing 
that the sprinkler heads uh, run off. And it's really hard to get this plastic tubing onto the fittings. What the pros do is they, they heat it up. They just warm it slightly and it, it, it flexes enough that it'll go over the fitting and when it, dry, when it cools down, it's, it's tight. But I use these little clamps also as a backup. These stainless steel clamps are cheap money and it's a good insurance policy. So let's get started. We're gonna heat this line up. I'm gonna pull it right off. Don't, don't heat it too much. Keep, you'll feel it. There it goes. It's warm enough, it's coming right off. Okay. Now we're gonna take it off the sprinkler head, same way. Now you see, you see the, um, there's the line that was coming from the, I call it the riser, it's the piece that comes out of the main pipe. Now we want it to do the same thing and take it off the bottom of the sprinkler head. And just, you'll feel it turn really easy once it gets warm. That comes right off. If you had to, if you had to do that without a torch, you'd be killing yourself. So now, what I like to do also is have a bucket of water nearby, and just clean the clean the dirt off. Get the head nice and clean, so you're not dealing with dirt. That's a nice clean job now. Okay, so now I picked up some of this plastic tubing at the local. Uh, hardware store and this is half inch tubing and usually it's a half inch tubing that they use so um, it's it's pretty easy to find this stuff they have it at all your home improvement stores so now first thing we got to do is get an idea how long we need this and I didn't bring a tape measure with me but I'll do it a different way I'll just kind of lay it in the hole and get an idea. We'll get it, we'll make it a little bit long and then I can cut it again. Be careful, it kinks very easy. You don't want to kink it. So that looks close. So we'll cut it. It cuts easy too. Okay, it's very thin wall pipe. It's not heavy wall pipe. So when you're heating it up, don't burn it, it'll melt. Okay, so we got that pretty close. Now I'm gonna get it even closer. That looks pretty good right there. And that's a little bit of waste. I didn't want that much waste, but next time we'll get a tape measure. So now what I wanna do, just make sure it's gonna be all right. And that's gonna be perfect. Now, let's see how it goes on without heating it up. It might go on pretty easy. Oh boy, that slipped right on, that's okay. Um, and that's why I'm glad I have these clamps. These clamps will tighten that right on there really good for us. So we'll put the clamp on there, like that. And I usually use a socket on these. You can just torque it nice. A screwdriver slips and you might stick it into your hand. So I, I like to use a socket. You have a little more control. Okay, that's beautiful. Nice, nice fit. Now we put the, make sure you put the uh, clamp on first on the other end. And you lay the sprinkler in there. I'm gonna slip it right over the end where we took it off. As far as we can go with it. Now remember, be careful when you expose any of this to dirt, that you don't get dirt in that line because the slightest bit of dirt can really mess up the sprinkler head. 
Okay, now we're going to tighten that in, that fitting we just put in there. And we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to have to get down here a little bit. All right, that's not going anywhere. So there you have it. I'm going to move that out there, which is a, that's where we want it now, right on the edge of the grass. So in our next shot, we're going to backfill this and we're going to pack it around the sprinkler head. And that'll show you how easy that is. So stay with us. All right, we're in the final segment of this uh, particular sprinkler. And in the last shot, you, sh you showed us uh, replacing the line and extending the sprinkler head. And now we're going to backfill it. And we're going to put the sprinkler head right where we want it. Now, sometimes this is, comes in handy to have a few rocks around. Kind of hold things where you want them until you get your dirt in there. And that's pretty much where we want it. You adjust the height. You want to be even with the grass. And we're just going to use the small shovel for now. Get some dirt in there to hold it. And maybe even don't be afraid if you see a rock laying around like this one. Throw that in there too. And that'll stabilize that for you. That'll stabilize that sprinkler head nice. Just where you want it. And now you can use the big shovel. And you really start putting the dirt back in there. it back in there. And as you go, tamp it down a little with your foot. Make sure the sprinkler head is straight. Now that's good. It's a little high, but that'll go right down when we step on it. And it compresses right around the sprinkler head for us. Here you go. And that's the simplest part is backfilling. And digging them out is the tricky part. Now, I want to show you something, one more shot of this sprinkler head and how we're going to adjust it. Because don't forget, we moved this head. And usually when you move a sprinkler head, it throws your adjustment off, your arc pattern. So I'm going to show you how I do this. I don't have good luck with those little adjusting tools that the sprinkler guys use. But I'm going to show you what I do here. All right, so there you go. Look at that, right where we want it. And who knows, five years from now, we might be moving that one again. But you keep your bushes trimmed and you should be okay. All right, now I'm going to show you in the next segment, we're going to test this. And I'm going to show you as it's running how I'm going to adjust that to the pattern that I want it to have. So in the next shot, we'll show you that. So stay with us for that. And as you can see, the sprinkler head's working beautifully. We've got the water coming through it nice, so all our connections are good. And now we just want to adjust it because we've moved things around. And I want it to cover a little more over here. So when it stops, which it just did, I'm going to tweak it over. And that's it. So 
So now it'll cover that little spot it wasn't getting for the longest time. That little spot of grass was always dry. And we've just turned it a little bit. What you're doing when you turn it like that, you're grabbing onto the top right here. And you just turn the whole sprinkler head underground. And it's just turning, what it's doing is it's turning on this threaded little elbow that's there. That little elbow right there you see. And that's where our hose connects to that point. And you've got plenty of screw, plenty of thread. And if you don't have to turn it too much, which we didn't, I find that the easiest way to do it. You just turn the, the whole sprinkler head just a little bit. Now when you go to buy these, you'll see on the label, they always show you the spray pattern. And the spray pattern on this particular one here 40 degrees to 360 degrees. So this almost does a complete circle. So you'd probably want this almost uh, in the center of your yard and it would cover a wide, it tells you how far it even covers. It'll go from 19 feet to 32 feet out. So that shows you the circumference of the actual water spray. So this, this sprinkler head will cover a, a large area and there's little uh, screws on the top. I, you can play around with the screws and what they do is they adjust the, the spray, uh, the fan, which it's the, the stream itself. The stream, you can have a real straight, sharp stream, or you can turn it down and it's almost more of a spray. So there's a lot of adjustments on these, but you play around with them. You really can't hurt them uh, until you get it to where your, your lawn is, uh, where you want it to be on your lawn, nice and green. So now we're going to show you We've showed you that one. That was from start to finish, right to the adjusting. And now we're going to show you another situation we have with a sprinkler uh, in our next shot. So stay with us for that. Okay, we have a little bit different situation in this case. What we have here is we have a sprinkler head that's not quite in the center, but pretty close. Uh, and this head was put in years ago. And since that time, the grass has been added in the back here. So this, this sprinkle head will only cover uh, like a, a 90 degree radius. So it only goes partial in the back end, never gets watered. So rather than moving this line all the way to the outside edge of the grass, we've decided to replace it with this sprinkler head that I showed you earlier, which does a 360 degree radius. So this will completely do the, all the grass behind it and everything. So it's a much simpler way to go. So when you do a project like, like this, you think it out. And rather than going through all that work of digging a line and everything else, it's much simpler to just replace the head with something that will cover a much bigger area. So in the next shot, we're gonna show you how we take this up and how we replace it with this new sprinkler head. What I want to stress when you first start digging is make a circle around the sprinkler head like that. You're cutting into the sod. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to save the sod as best we can and we'll put that right back in place. Doesn't have to be perfect. There you go. You just set that aside. go. Now, lots of little bugs in there. Now let's take a better look here. More sod here. Give yourself a good area. And now we want to excavate. I brought this bucket along because I want you to save the loom. We'll be putting that right back.
Now remember, go easy. You don't want to cut through the line. Pick away at it. Okay, we're going to start doing with the small shovel now. All right, now we've got the head where we want it, and these are about the same size. We might have to raise this one up a little higher because it's just a little bit shorter. Now what we're gonna do, we'll take this, we don't need this elbow. We're gonna remove this from the existing elbow. That's good, the water's coming out a little bit, but that cleans everything off for us. That's just a little excess water pressure in the line. And that's good, it cleans the area nice for us. Now in our next shot, I'm going to show you what we have to do to assemble this one into that existing line. All right, we got the old head out, and here it is. It's, a, it's slightly different than the new one we're gonna install. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna show you. Here's the bottoms of the two heads. As you can see, the old one has a much larger opening for the, uh, the elbow fitting, and I'll show you. And that's what was in there. So when we went to put the new head in there, obviously it's too big for the opening. So fortunately when I bought these smaller heads, uh, I bought the fittings that go in them, just in case. And I was right because we would have been in big trouble. We would have had to go back to the hardware store and get that right fitting, but we bought, they're cheap enough, grab a few uh, just to be on the safe side. So what we did was we just took the old one out of the hose and we heated it up and put a new one in and that'll receive our new sprinkler head, which we're gonna install right now, by the way. And very simple, you just screw it in. You don't need any pipe thread or anything else on the threads. And you just screw that in until it's somewhat snug. Don't over tighten it. It's only plastic, remember that. You might have to lift it up a little, like I say, and you can you can jockey that around a little bit, put a stone under it or something, uh, but we don't have any stones available, so I'm gonna just excavate a little dirt around the hose so that we can raise that a little bit more. And we'll get the dirt right under it. And we'll backfill that right in there. Okay, that's pretty good on the height for now. So now what I wanna show you in our final shot here, we're gonna show you the backfilling process again, and then we're gonna test the sprinkler head to see how the pattern works and we can make the necessary adjustments. So stay with us for the next segment and we'll finish it up with that. All right, we've replaced the sprinkler head and we've tested it. We did find a small leak, uh, which we've rectified. We used some Teflon tape around the threads 
and re-screwed the head back in and retested it and now it's fine. So now we're ready to backfill and this takes only a minute to do. And as you backfill, like I said earlier, you can lift the sprinkler head up and get the dirt under it and then you, you can adjust it to the height you want. And we're pretty good with that. Now I'm just going to kind of tweak it a little bit, lift it up just a bit and put some dirt under it, give us a little more height. That's pretty good. And now we're just going to take our topsoil. This is why I like putting it in a bucket. It's a lot easier to get back in the hole. And plus you don't get it all over your good grass. And spread it around. We're going to compact that a little bit before we put the rest of the dirt on there. We'll just step on it very lightly, compact it around there, and we're almost done now. Now we'll put the rest of the dirt around there. And we spread it evenly right around there like that. And now, aren't you glad you saved the sod? We'll put the sod in there and nobody will ever know we were here. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect job. And there we go. And within, within a couple of weeks, that'll all fill in nice. The grass will reroot. And just make sure you got it down good contact. And there you have it. All set. And we'll come back later and just hit this with a light rake and get some of the dirt out of the grass. As you can see behind me, we've got the, the three heads came up and the middle one that we just changed is working exactly as we planned. It's going around 360 degrees and it's covering the lawn as you can see behind it, which was not being done before. So we've set out to do that and we've accomplished that with just simply changing the sprinkler head. Now you adjust the, the spray with a small little screwdriver and that makes the spray fan out and you can shorten it up or you can make it go out further. So play around with it. Uh, you really can't hurt it too much and uh, you'll get it to do pretty much any spot in your yard you want to do. So think it out and get the right sprinkler head especially and uh, it you shouldn't be hard at all to do. Now I want to thank everybody for watching the show. As usual, my website is www.finishdimensions.com or you can email me at finishdimensions at yahoo.com. Questions, comments, anything like that, uh, much appreciated. That's how we learn. Uh, you might have a tip for us that we can pass along on another show. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you can join us on the next show. You've been watching Around the House. Thanks for joining us.